Hello and welcome back to another weekly vlog with me. I'm about to go through all of my cardigan sweaters and we're gonna have a little keep or toss moment. I have too many and they don't fit me and I know that but I wish that they would and I think it's time to just get them out of my closet. I think I've been doing a lot of shopping lately. Whenever I do that I have to have a purge so it's purge time. So here's all the stuff. First up is the Blair Waldorf sweater. As you guys know, this was a sweater that I found was on the TV show Gossip Girl. Blair wore it in a scene and I thrifted this. It's a very, very lovely brand. This is a brand you can actually get at Urban Outfitters, but it's a little bit more on the upscale side. Leaf Stotia, I'm sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly. It has tiny little raised pearls on it. It's a beautiful, cardigan sweater it really truly is it's too small it is honestly i know that i know that it's too small for me and i have insisted on keeping it and i think it's time for me to just pull the plug and put this in the shop so this will be in the web shop for sale for anybody who wants to snag it next up on the maybe chopping block is my thrifted sweater that's beat to all hell that i attempted to upcycle i tried replacing some of the beading on it and I went through it and tried to stop some of the beading from falling absolutely apart. If you look at it, it's so old. I think I'm going to guess that this sweater is from the 40s or the 50s and it has survived all these years. I patched some holes in the back not very well. I'm not like a wool repair person. It has so much damage that I wouldn't feel right charging somebody for it. Even though I did some repairs and made it look as good as I possibly could, I just don't think that someone wants a tattered old vintage sweater. But the other one, you guys, that you know I got at the same time as that sweater that's in much better condition. The uh, beading is in perfect condition here. There's really nothing wrong with any of the beading. It is a fab, fabulous lamb's wool 100 lamb's wool hand beaded and um it is a gorgeous vintage 1950s sweater it has been washed it has been hung out to dry and it is doing great so it is ready for somebody to love it if any of you are interested this makes me really sad <laughs> i'm totally a vintage hoarder and here's dear old flopsy you'll want her right there you go Oh, yes. Ah. I really am, but she's been repaired, so she's good to go. Speaking of repair, this one I just recently got um, has not been washed even. I've still got the tag on it, and it needs a cleaning. So this week, we are going to give this a nice refresh. I have my wool cleaner. It's time. This guy needs some love. I'm going to put him in a big basin and fill it up with the wool cleaner and get him nice and shiny again because it's dirty. You, you can see. You can physically see the dirt. This little jacket that I got recently, thrifting, it's kind of got that Chanel look to it. 14th and Union is the name of the brand. It's a size large. It fits me, but honestly, I think it's a little bit snug because of my boobs. And I, I'll never wear it because of that reason, because I can't like, pull it closed. I feel like big man in a little coat. Richard, what's happening? but I like it and I thought it looked really cute. I actually pulled it on over these jeans and I thought it looked really cute with this outfit. So this is for sale for anybody who wants it um, that could fit it better than I can. <sighs> to keep or to give away, um, this is my Bob Mackie. I got this off of the Real Real actually. As we know, Bob Mackie has been styling celebrities since the 70s, maybe even earlier. Probably earlier, probably the 50s, because I think they talked about Bob Mackie in I Love Lucy. So you could still find Bob Mackie wearable art in thrift stores all over. And whenever I see one, I get really excited because first of all, I just love the labeling. And second of all, it does have that vintage look, but it is also very Golden Girls. So sometimes when I see Bob Mackie, it just reads grandma, like old lady. And I love it, but I'm also like, is it me though? I want to love it, but I don't know if it's me. So this one, I think I can pull off, but I'm on the fence. I think I'm gonna keep the Bob Mackie for now, um, but I just wanted to give it a shout out because if you're somebody who is on the fence about Bob Mackie too, how do you feel about it? Do you feel like it's kind of granny? <laughs> this one is another one that will be going up in the web shop. This is one of the softest cardigans I've ever felt in my life. It's so soft. It's just a little small on me. It's just a little small on me but this would work better for somebody who's a small or a medium. I think if you were small and you wanted to wear this as a little bit of a oversized, kind of bigger cozy sweater, you would love this. 
I want to love it. If it was really big and oversized, I would be keeping it because it's that soft and comfortable and I really do like it, but I just cannot. I keep grabbing it and I keep putting it back and I've never worn it. I've never worn it. And uh, whenever that keeps happening, I know that it's taking up space in my closet that I don't need. Okay, we are gonna put, get some shoes on and we're gonna go get some groceries. And then I'm gonna come back and photograph all of that so that I can start getting it up on my website so I can just get that out of the way. And then I've got work to do for the rest of the day. So it's not really gonna be anything else with me. I might do some baking though, because I have some breakfast muffins that I saw a recipe for. I did the thing where I got up, ripped the sheets off the bed, threw everything in the laundry. I'm on my second load of laundry already, tidied up, folded all the blankets in the living room, cleaned the kitchen, fed the dogs, let them out, and I'm just now having my first sip of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm obviously in my workout wear. I'm gonna go to Pilates. I it has been so hard to get into the classes that I like with the instructor that I like at the time that I like. It seems everybody else likes the same times as me. So I have been on the wait list now two weeks in a row and I just happened to peek at it in the afternoon and there was a spot open. So I grabbed it so that I can get in today and I've already got my next week's appoint my next week's um class reserved so that i don't have to worry about it but man they are starting to become a hot commodity and uh i don't like it <laughs> but i am all ready to go i just actually ordered another one of these because i love it so freaking much so they're these sets and they're just really nice because i like that they're it's a matching set i don't have to wear a bra and the back I've been doing that in my <laughs> in all my videos because you can like see my butt now like in dresses I don't do that because you can't see my butt when I'm in a dress but now that I've been wearing pants I'm like oh look there's there's my butt anyway I just quickly wanted to the whole point of coming on here is telling you that the muffins are really really good so I am not a fan of oat because I tried making an oat breakfast treat and it was awful but these are just the right amount of oat mixed with maple syrup into a muffin form that I really like it and it's just sweet enough. You know, it's just sweet enough. not full of sugar. I didn't do the sugar coat on top that it recommended. I just did the brown sugar and the maple syrup and it's perfect. And it's the perfect little breakfast snack. Well, I've got all the stuff out to wash my sweater. I found my Outback Gold wool wash and conditioner. Oh God, it contains lanolin. I literally just threw away my dish gloves because I felt like they were old and gross and I needed some new ones. Maybe while I'm over there, I will pop into Home Goods because I do need a new candle. I've already burned through the apple fir one. It's time for officially Christmas candles from here on out. So I can get all the evergreen pine ones my little heart desires. Well, that was a little bit of an ass kicker, dare I say. I sweat my ass off and I put self tan on beforehand because I just wanted to go work out and then shower after. So overall, that was a nice little Pilates sesh. First in class, I actually sat there and talked to my instructor, the most we've ever spoken since I've been going to her because she just got a new tattoo and it's so freaking good. It's so good. I'm way too hot to put this on, but it's dumping rain. And I just do not have the confidence to walk around with a crop top in November at Home Goods. So, even though a girl in class just said, 
gosh, I can't wait till I get to where I can wear like crop tops and like maybe get my stomach tattooed. And I was like, me? You're talking about me? Because I'm so self-conscious of my belly. <laughs> I wouldn't say self-conscious. I don't like using that word. I've said this before, but I don't, I'm working on it. Is this person waiting for me? Were you waiting for me? Because I wasn't going anywhere. I'm so sorry. Car off, car off. There, those poor people. I hope they weren't waiting for me. Okay, I am at Home Goods. I'm gonna go look for a candle, dish gloves, maybe one little festive thing, decor wise. Little. I'm back from my errands and my day of amazing Pilates workouts and light Christmas shopping apparently. <laughs> Not intended. But I did get myself some festive tea towels or hand kitchen towels. These are so soft. I don't know what it is about this particular brand. As I was looking at this one, my getting figgy with it, <laughs> festive towel is stained. And then because I've always, I've always taken, I don't know if you do this. So I'll have a pan and then I'll put the pan in the oven. And when I put the pan back up here, I will actually turn my glove around and put it on the handle like that. So that way I don't forget that the handle is piping hot from being in the stove on a broil pot handle holders so just for the handle so that way if you were taking it from the oven and bringing it up to the surface you don't forget and then grab it because how many times have we done that that is so me dark floral merry christmas tags i just had to get them because they were three bucks and this might just be the inspiration of my gift wrapping this year Woo! so christmasy it says holiday joy N fur, needles, amber, wood, and a hint of mint. Just that pop of mint gives it a nice kind of clean smell. It smells like it'll clean the air. Chuck roast that we'll be able to slow cook starting tomorrow. So tomorrow will be roast day. We put all this away and then have a snack before we go for a dog walk. The sun has just come out. It's like the perfect timing. Look at that. We gotta go for our dog walk now, because <laughs> the sun doesn't last around here. What a walky poo. Is daddy getting coffee? You guys. <laughs> what did you just do? You guys. I can't. move the Halloween stuff. It's just right there. <laughs> I, just, I need to put it in the basement. Anyway, these pants, they're like cable knit sweater pants and I got the matching set from Cider and I have this in three colors. I have it in blue, black, and this. And honestly, I need to look and see if they make this in more because I live in these year round. I wear these in the summertime so they're comfortable just walking around the house in the summer. And then in the winter, they make for great sweater, you know, layerable pieces. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys this. I don't know about you, but I am starting to kind of think about a gift guide and stocking stuffers and things like that for the holidays. 
I am trying to get a, a jump on things. I am trying to start thinking about little things that I could do now so that it's not all in December. Um, and then also because so many Black Friday deals have already started. <laughs> it's like, how is that, like, how is that possible? But something that I thought would be a cute stocking stuffer, I ordered it to make sure that um, it works. But these, you see this? I've got a silver one, a rose gold one, and then I've got a gold one. And it is a tube twister like a toothpaste key. Isn't that so cool? So this is my favorite toothpaste, by the way. I love Arm & Hammer. I, have, I cannot brush my teeth with anything other than this. Start going through it and twisting, and it gets all your toothpaste where you need it. And then once you have it twisted up like that, take it out and then put it back in so that it secures. And now it's going to be ready to go to twist when you're ready to push out more. Isn't that freaking cool. So I got one for my toothpaste and then this is a hand cream. But yeah, I think stuff like this would be perfect for a little gift guide situation. So I'm going to work on putting together a gift guide of things that I just absolutely love that I think would make great gifts. And then also I want to do a vintage and like gift guide for thrift and vintage lovers. So for people who want to give a gift to somebody who loves vintage, it will be like suggestions for that, that things they can get at a thrift store or on Etsy. Isn't that cool? I just thought that was such a cool idea. And now I have one more for another lotion if I need it. But I just think that's such a cool idea. I also have like different skincare that is in this kind of toothpaste tube. And it's just, yeah, a really handy little thing. They're only eight bucks. So you can buy somebody a lotion and get them the little keys, little lotion keys, and make a little gift box of stuff for them. I think that's a really nice gift idea or stocking stuffer idea. Let's get this roast on. <laughs> All the fixins. to organize this room so bad. There's a desk that I want to get rid of. It's a real, real thing. Yay, I honestly, I try to like add to my luxury collection by getting a small piece like once a month. Now I don't get anything really crazy. You know, I'm, I keep it pretty affordable because of the fact that luxury even thrifted is still very expensive, but it's just nice to slowly build um, you know, a little collection of some nicer things. So handbags, hats, accessories, stuff like that, sunglasses. So I got another one. You guys have seen me wearing my Ghani tan colored hat nonstop since I got it. I love it so much. It matches so many things. And I realized that because I'm wearing it so much, it might be time for me to get another one for a specific trip I have coming that I cannot wait to share with you guys. I can't tell you guys about it because obviously it's weird to share trip plans before you go when you're on the internet. I'm going to save this for that. This one's a little thicker than my other one, but that'll be good because this is gonna be kind of like a wintry wonderland vibe. Do we love? Do we love? Is it cute? So it's gonna go with my jean shirt that I just got from Iro. I'm gonna save that too. I love having new feeling things for trips, so I will set it aside and save it for a trip. So now that I have this hat and my new Iro jean shirt, I'm going to have an outfit already ready to go. I still like the tan one better and I think it fits me better. This one is a little bit bigger and thicker but I like it. Yay! Well, good morning, good morning. We have a lot to do today, so I'm just gonna dive into it and start with some coffee 
and um, start soaking the sweater. I have decided that I'm too scared to use the lanolin wool wash because if I do, I'll never wear the sweater. And I want to wear the sweater for like Christmas this year because it's just so Christmassy and awesome. Um, so with that said, I'm going to use shampoo. That's the other, uh, solution that is re recommended when you look up wool sweater care shampoo, which makes sense because wool is hair essentially. We're going to have that soaking for a few minutes. And while that's happening, I wanted to show you a couple things that came in the mail. The first thing is some new Pilates gear because I had a gray matching, I think I showed it in this video, but I can't remember. I had like a gray matching set and I really wanted a new of the exact same thing. So it's just a crop cap sleeve so I don't have to wear a bra. It keeps me nice and sucked in. I like that. High waisted. It does roll down just a little bit, but I haven't met a pair of yoga pants that don't. And I feel like if they didn't, they would be too constricting and tight. These are kind of like a chocolate brown top to it. Nice. And then the socks that I have are like a gray black and I didn't think they would match very good. So I got a new pair and actually this came with a bunch, which is good to have, but I just got some crew socks, some grip, socks with the little bubbles on the bottom and I think those will look so cute with the brown so I am so excited about my class next week because I get a new outfit and this is the kind of stuff that you look forward to <laughs> um so the next thing is this this is called the dazzle dry mini mini mani kit this was based off of a Reddit forum suggestion, people talking about nail allergies. A lot of people were complaining about nail allergies, how they can't use gels anymore and acrylics anymore, and everybody was speaking my language. I am having that problem. But regular nail polish, just as we all know, doesn't last. And so is there something out there that will strengthen the nails and be a strong lasting nail polish manicure set that's good for your fingernails like or at least not bad for your fingernails so this says somewhere non-toxic humane quick drying and long lasting this is the nail prep which is step one and then you do your base coat your nail lacquer and your top coat um and then so once you've done this it says that it dries in four minutes is their claim that you can get a fully dry nail without an LED and without a UV light in less than five minutes. It says here five, but in the ad on their thing, it says four. So there's a revive. So we have a prep, a base coat, a nail lacquer, a top coat, and then revive. And then the color that I went for is the middle one, which looks black on camera, but this is a very, very deep oxblood red, which you guys know I'm having a whole moment with. And I'm excited to try this. So we're gonna do this at some point today. But the game plan is the entire upstairs beauty room needs a little christmas -ifying and I'm ready to just switch it over to Christmas up there at least. And we'll work on the house maybe next week or um, after Thanksgiving. But I definitely want to get the upstairs organized. So this is what I'm talking about. This is how things just get kind of messy and then I'm overwhelmed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this desk downstairs um this gray one back here and then i'm going to move this chair to the unboxing corner <laughs> that's what i'm calling this now the unboxing corner because this is usually where i sit down to show you guys stuff but i need to tidy it up a little bit and i want to change her into something christmasy so we'll be changing her outfit I might switch this around a little bit and redecorate it and move the pampas. So I think I want to just redo all of that and this maybe too. So all of this stuff just needs to be organized and put away and put it in a way that I like and enjoy. I also now have a fireplace up here that's super cozy. It would be nice to put that somewhere that looks a little bit less cluttered. What does he do? He's trying to play with her. 
<laughs> and she's just like not having it. <laughs> His way of playing is basically just flirting with her, kind of like, please, please, teaster, please play with me, teaster. <laughs> I can't, they're so cute. Which of my upcycled dresses I want to put on the mannequin. We did this one together, which, gosh, do I love this rhinestone detail at the bottom of this dress. I still haven't finished it. Remember when I had like this really tiny gap that I needed to fix? See that? I still have the, I do have the rhinestones. They got delivered. I just need to fill that gap. But I think I'm actually going to wear this to an event. And so I'll probably do it the night before <laughs> or like the week of the event. I'll fix the dress. Um, I'm not getting my glue and all my tools out right now. But do we want this on the mannequin? What will Dolly wear today? That's pretty, it's sparkly. Or I also did this one, remember that? Little Christmas one. Remember this upcycle I did in the middle of summer? <laughs> and I've been waiting for the perfect day to wear this. I definitely want to wear this somewhere festive for some sort of Christmas festivities. So this also, two, two Christmas dresses. I'm so excited to wear to do something that I upcycled. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go with this one because I like the fur. It's giving Mrs. Claus. Maybe we're due for an upcycle. It's been a minute. I just don't have anything really that I need to upcycle at the moment. Usually I've got like a whole plethora of stuff. Very flattering. She needs some jewelry. I feel like she needs a necklace. Let me get one. Off-white. Do we like off-white? Or Mary, Mary Green. Oh, hell yeah. Green, a hundred percent. I love that I can just change her outfit seasonally. Something I have been meaning to do for a really long time is cut these curtains. They are too long. I'm kind of over, I'm not, I love macrame, but I'm over this specific color of macrame. So I was thinking of doing something cool to it. I want to take some of this charcoal dye that I have and I want to just dip it. Sweater is laying out to dry. I rinsed it with cold water. It looks so much cleaner. Like, look at that. This was yellow. Half dipped in like that and let it soak. See what happens. Could have ruined it. Could have made it look cooler. We'll see. Because honestly, oh yeah, it's turning, it's turning a darker color. And it's cool. I almost want to just do the whole thing. Very dry. It is. Let's find something to go here. If that's not perfect for that spot, I don't know what is. That was perfect. That's 
exactly what needed to go there. I've Christmified, <laughs> Christmasified this little spot here for now. I do want to get some like evergreen pine to maybe drape across that or do something cool across the uh, both of these cabinets maybe. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this in the stand like you see but I'm just that's where it is for now. We have just a few of my vintage compacts on display here. A old book that's about gardening. My cozy little fire pit corner that does turn on so it can heat up the room if I need it but I honestly don't ever need the heat. And then I have some um, obviously camera equipment. This is an eyesore and I eventually would like to do something with it that's different but for now this is kind of what I have to have here because I don't have anywhere else for this to go. It is my office. I have to have it. And I think um, I'm going to use one of these trays for my lipstick collection. Those are all of like my fun lipsticks, you know, the ones that are like limited edition and kind of cool. I have more in the drawer, but I'm just not messing with that. I don't need a million out. I just want the ones that I love the most out. Okay, this is actually really unique. I've never had a product like this before. So you take this and put it on a cotton pad and wipe off your nails to get any oils in anything off your nails. Two coats of base coat. A coat of this, let it dry matte, which it totally gets really foggy looking. And you put this on and you get this really intense shine. Look at the shine. Now it's a little darker than I'd wanted. It looks black. I really wanted more of an ox blood, but that's okay. I'm just really impressed with how shiny this is. And so you do the top coat and then you, apparently this is supposed to be rock hard, super dry in five minutes. It's 134. So I've already been chatting too. So let's say at 140, this should be done. I'm scared to touch it, but it says it will be. And this is not a cuticle oil. I thought the fifth thing was gonna be like a little cuticle oil or something, but when I read this, it says that sometimes nail lacquer can get a little thick. And so you take the dropper that's in here and you put a couple of drops of what's called Revive into it and it makes it good again. So you can use the dropper to add to this. I'm going to let these dry. I will report back and then we're going to open up some Ipsy makeup and do a little beauty unboxing. So it's 143. It has been eight minutes and it's dry. It's hard. I like it. Look at how shiny. Now the test will be. It's supposed to be chip free for seven to ten days. We'll say about that. I, I do need to order my dish gloves because I feel like that helps a lot in just the longevity of my nails. Let's open up the first thing which is an exciting something or other. Look at their little eyelash tissue. It's tissue with little eyelashes on it. I'm saving that for gift wrapping. <laughs> That is how I am. But look at what Lilac Street has right now for a lovely holiday gift. This would be such a great holiday gift. It is called the Temptation Collection and they've rebranded. So as you could see, the name of the label looks a lot different, but I've got some, are these 16s? Goodness, what did I get? 36 Featherlight Wisps pre-mapped lash extensions. Anyway, I just wanted to try it. Um, so I'm gonna have these for the holidays. I'll probably get another one, another set before Christmas. As you can see, it starts at a 10 millimeter and then it graduates to a 14. So you've got a nice lift on the ends and it has a graduated, these are beautiful. So this is Icon Prism and the Originals. Those are my three favorites. So it's great because you have some wispy ones you have some with a little bit more drama, and then you have some really nice fluffy fluttery ones. Those will be good for holidays. And because these lashes for me, I can make them last up to 10 days. Three sets of lashes. I'm gonna play with this. I'm gonna play with it and make it um, work. When I do that, I'll do it on camera so that you guys can see how this turns out. But I think this would be such a nice gift for anyone who likes to wear lash extensions. I have a coupon for 10% off your first purchase. If you want some, this is not sponsored, but I'm an affiliate. 
So I have the links below and you can use Sienna 10 for 10% 10 off everybody. And then now let's get into this. This is the icon box from Ipsy. Oh my gosh. This one this time is one of my favorite people. I'm really excited about the curator of this icon box. It's Lisa Vanderpump. I love freaking Lisa Vanderpump. One of my favorite people because she's she's a dog person. She loves her dogs. Marvin, look at that's this Lisa Vanderpump. She likes doggies. Oh, thank you. Isn't she? She looks stunning. Oh my gosh, she looks absolutely stunning. Look at the little tea and the kit. This is me. This is everything. See, and a woman of her age wearing ruffles and velvet and adorable little velvet dresses. This is me. <laughs> and look at this one with her fur hat. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Let's get into this. I'm going to have to kind of go quick because this could get a really, like this could become a really long one. So let's try to get into this as fast as we can. Dr. Babber Awakening Eye Cream. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Dr. Babber. 95% naturally derived ingredient, brightening, hydrating, radiance in the eye area, pre and probiotics, ash bark, vitamin B3, smooths fine lines, and conceals dark circles. I'm in the market for a new eye cream. The ones that I have, I don't feel like do anything at all. So yeah, I will be pumped to have one that might actually give me some legitimate results. Ooh, yay. I wish I hadn't, I found a Givenchy little perfume sample on the floor when I was cleaning and I sprayed myself with it and I wish I had not. It's really strong and I'm just, it's all I can smell and I forgot that Ipsy was coming today and I have fragrances. I think I have two. One was an add-on and I didn't, I want to be able to smell this but I want to save one because we have a trip coming up for the holidays and I'm really excited to have a new fragrance to bring. Black Current Peach Blossom Saffron Jasmine. Look at that. Isn't that like a cool little bottle with the wood top? I'm so, you guys know I'm kind of into this phase of my life where I'm collecting fragrance. Can definitely smell that black currant and I'm getting spicy. What's spicy? I might, that might be my fragrance. Depending on what the other one is, this might be the one I'm gonna use for the trip because I love making a fragrance become that memory of a vacation and this would be perfect for this particular vacation. I cannot wait to tell you guys all about it when that time comes, but we have some time before that. We have an El Maquillage uh, bronzer, blush, and highlighter palette. Chic, that's so luxe. Look at the way that they've gone about the placement of the blush and the highlight and the bronzer and oh my God. I'm saving this for the trip. So that will be a fun new product I can whip out for our little vacation. It's a very small vacation, but it'll be a fun one. And now we have Tartlet Juicy Amazonian Clay Palette. Lovely. Honestly, Tarte eyeshadows are probably my most go-to grab, grabbing basic palettes because they just perform really well. They look really nice. Um, I have the Tarte and Bloom palette as my go-to bridal palette. So I just really like Tarte's products. Look how cute this is. The Tartlet Juicy. It's all like, it kind of looks springy, but it's cute. This is, I can see how this is a Lisa Vanderpump thing. She likes pink. And purple which I can those are her colors look how pretty look at it it's so romantic look at all these romantic pinks oh it's so pretty Ooh, I've got some new face makeup and eye makeup to play with so if you want to see me try them on I usually do like a hotel makeup look so we'll do that together how about that this is great, the Amica Intense Moisturizer Leave-In Conditioner. I obviously use the It's a 10, which is my favorite, the keratin treatment. That's what I use after I shower on my hair, but I've used this before and I do really like it. This will be good to have as a backup when I run out of It's a 10, but I just bought a refresh of that. It's a little travel bottle though. Maybe I should save the rest for the trip and then start using this because I have plenty of it. 
But yeah, it's a really good leave-in treatment. It has a nice smell to it. It's been a minute since I've smelled it, but I do remember this having a good smell. I actually bought this because I got a sample and loved it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Setting powder. So this is a setting powder in a compact. Nice little soft setting powder with a hint of color to it. Nice. Super soft sheer setting powder for angel face skin. Getting close. I needed a new night cream, and so I'm excited about this one. Ole Henriksen's Dutopia Acid Firming Night Cream. Looks like meringue. <laughs> Smells like meringue. Gosh, it makes me wanna put it on a cake. Oh my God, that just made me crave lemon meringue pie. That's got a really nice feel. Ooh, that's really, really nice, you guys. I wish you can feel that. All right, well, I'm excited to try it. I hope my face will let me. <laughs> okay, here's the other perfume. Here, I'll just get it out of the packet. It's just too light. Feels like sleeping in your bathing suit, naked and subtle. Rosie by Rosie Jane. Little clear perfume bottle. I'm so, I'm so, I love fragrance right now. Like, I, I never, I don't remember ever being in a fragrance this much. Okay, it's a really light fragrance. Oh, that's so like, it's so sweet. Sweet rose. <laughs> Nude musk. Okay, clean beauty for cool humans. I love clean fragrance as well. I think this would be a really good fragrance for me to wear when I'm just hanging out at the house because I, I, I'm weird like that. I when Even when I'm just hanging out at home, I do like to spray something on. I get dressed every morning. I put a little bit of BB cream on and a little bit of makeup so I could talk to you, run an errand, go do a thing, whatever it is that I have to do. And I always spray a little something, but I prefer when I'm just hanging out to wear something really clean and light just so I can like catch a whiff of myself and it's a really lightweight perfume. This would be really good for that because it almost reminds me a little bit of like laundry day. So light, so light, but really sweet. Like, you know when you go to smell a rose petal and you just barely get that whiff of the flower? That's what that smells like. That's what it reminds me of, is that really light, fragrant rose petal. Just out of package, out of place. No sticker, nothing. Just thrown into the box. <laughs> Completely clear. Anastasia lip gloss but i did i wanted like a just clear gloss nothing else no color i'm gonna get pink on it great oh i like the smell of it here i'm gonna wipe this wand off because i really don't want to put the pink back in there i, I want to wear this on a completely nude lip no taste but fragrance i like the smell of it but Maybe that's me catching whiffs of this rosy, this rosy thing. Anyway, <laughs> lots of fragrance things going on right now. Here's the last thing. Oh, it's a lipstick. I really want to try it. LYS Beauty Speak Love Moisture Matte Lipstick. Color's name is Sincere. This is so Lisa Vanderpump. Like, I can see why she would have picked this. This, this seems like some, look at that. It's so skinny. I love this packaging. It's very vintage, very retro. It looks like my Valentina lipstick. I love a simple lipstick that you can just, you don't have to line it. You don't have to use anything. You can just, it's so skinny too. This almost, this seems like something that would be really handy if I just kept this in my purse so I just at all times can just quickly touch up my lip with some lip color but not necessarily doesn't take up a lot of room and you know easy to apply I don't have to wear a lip liner with it all right well that is it for this week you guys I hope you don't mind leaving on a little bit of a beauty uh, unboxing note and if you guys want to order some of these I will have it linked below and use that discount code and um, yeah buy some for your friends they're so affordable and that way you can start pre stocking up on some of your holiday stuff and if you're anything like me just make a little spreadsheet in your notes on your phone with links of things that you want and then just drop that into your husband's phone 
<laughs> he appreciates it. I mean, I don't mind just telling him things. Like, I send him a list of things that I'm like, you can get anything on this list and I would be happy. Just to take some of the pressure off. But for the most part, he'll think of things on his own. But he'll, he'll buy a few things off my, my wish list. There's just nothing, nothing wrong with a wish list. Um, so yeah, add that to your wish list maybe. Or put them in a stocking for a friend. They're really, really nice gifts. Or Ipsy. You can always buy somebody like an Ipsy subscription and pay for it for like, you know, a certain amount of months. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Ipsy, Ipsy would be really nice. If, if you know somebody who's getting into beauty, thinking about getting into beauty, a makeup artist, somebody who's a professional makeup artist and needs to be able to stock up their kit, Ipsy really helps keep my kit up to date and fresh with new stuff. And then my personal makeup kit too personal makeup. So anyway, I am done. I am done babbling. Thank you so much for watching this week. If you enjoyed, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.